What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I'm going to share some leaked Nuka World information that gives us an inside look into the locations and raider gangs we'll encounter in the new DLC. Before we move forward, there are most certainly going to be spoilers in this video, so if you're avoiding those at all costs, you should stop watching now. This information comes from user Shadowshade on the RFF4 subreddit, who data mined the latest patch that included support for Nuka World. All credit goes to him for finding this info, and I've left a link to his post in the description below if you want to check it out. Keep in mind, none of this includes story, characters, weapons, armors, or anything like that. We'll have to wait until closer to release for those things, but this does give us great insight into places we'll visit, what we'll find there, and what we'll be able to build in the workshop menu. Starting off, we have three brand new settlement map markers. First is this Vassal Marker, next is the Raider Marker, and last is the Potential Vassal Marker. If you didn't know already, Vassal was a term used in medieval Europe when feudalism was still around. Basically, a lord would own a plot of land, then he would let a vassal hold a portion of that land as long as he swore allegiance and served the lord. That's a super basic explanation, but if we apply this concept to Fallout, it sounds like we will be conquering raider settlements, and once we've successfully done that, we will assign a vassal, or a raider captain for example, to rule that settlement for us while we're gone. We already knew that Nuka World lets the player lead lethal gangs of raiders and use them to conquer settlements, so these map markers in this vassal system makes a lot of sense. For potential vassal settlements, I'm not really sure how that comes into play. Perhaps those are settlements where the raiders can be convinced through a quest or high charisma to serve the player, the sole survivor, instead of having to be conquered through violence. It's anyone's guess right now, but that sounds pretty spot on to me. Moving on, we also have a ton of map markers for unique Nuka World locations. The Wild West marker is most probably Dry Rock Gulch, the Safari marker is probably for the Safari Adventure Zone, the Rides marker is for the Amusement Park Rides in some form or fashion. This marker is called POI and it's probably related to Nuka World, obviously we don't know exactly what it is. The Pack marker is probably for a potential Raider Gang, the Operator's marker is for another Raider Gang, the monorail marker is for transportation around the park, which is really cool, we'll talk about that in a second. The Kitty Kingdom zone is probably for that new park zone. The hub marker is for a central location of the park, is that giant mountain with the bottle on the side that we've seen in the trailer. The galactic marker is for the galactic zone part of the park. The disciples marker is for a third raider gang. And finally, the bottling plant marker is for another location in the DLC. So we've got a lot of markers for stuff we already knew was in the DLC, the different, you know, park theme zones, but also we have some new locations along with these Raider Gangs. And you may be thinking, how do I know these are the Raider Gangs? We've got a little more evidence coming up really soon that will pretty much guarantee that that's what these are. Next, we have new workshop keywords that point to some new crafting options in this DLC. This points to the fact that we should see a new Nuka World category, similar to what we have with the Vault category in the Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack. Within the Nuka World tab are several new categories, a lot of them corresponding with different parts of the map, you know, these different park zones. This could point to the fact that we have some area-specific crafting with a lot of variety going on. We're not exactly sure, but we have things like Safari, you know, Adventure, Galactic Zone, Dry Rock Gulch, different categories that have specific items underneath them. We don't know what the items are, we just have the categories. However, we have two new things. We have a Nuka Cade tab along with a Nuka Town USA tab. And obviously to me, Nuka Cade sounds like a Nuka Cola themed arcade, which is pretty cool. I'm sure we can expect one. And then it sounds like since it's in the workshop, we can build one, which will be interesting. And then Nuka Town USA could point to that little bottle cap marker we saw earlier called POI. We don't know exactly, but that would kind of make sense to me. That's it for the new Nuka World tab, but we also have new keywords under the Raider tab. It's on the far right that appeared about two updates ago. It's got some Raider themed things that Bethesda have added. We have some new stuff underneath that tab, and the new categories under Raider include flags, resources, dealers, vendors, miscellaneous, and then most importantly, disciples, operators, and the pack. The markers we looked at earlier, along with these Raider categories, almost certainly confirm that the three Raider games we'll encounter in Nuka World will be called the Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. Shadowshade goes further to speculate on these names. I think he's pretty spot on, so I just wanted to share what he thought. The Disciples sound like there's some kind of religious influence going on there, maybe like the Children of Adam, for example. The Operators sound more organized, like a mercenary gang, similar to the Gunners. And then the Pack is kind of crazy. We don't know what's going on with them. Maybe they're more like the general ra raiders in the game already. Maybe they have something to do with the Safari Zone, since they have that kind of wolf-looking logo. We really don't know at this point, but they're really interesting. So at this point, this kind of blows the door wide open on speculation. There's so 
much more we can speculate on with this information. But here's a bolded list of things I got out of this new info. Once again, this is all speculation, but it's guided by this data mined information. First, we'll have some sort of vassal system where we can place raiders at settlements to run or defend. That just makes sense with those vassal markers and just the terminology. It makes a lot of sense with what we already knew we could do in the DLC. Second, there will be some sort of workshop building in this DLC. We've already had that in every single DLC so far, even Far Harbor. It wasn't part of it, but we got some new building options in that DLC. So most certainly we're going to get that in this DLC. It might be a little bit more than Far Harbor, but you know, this is not a workshop building DLC. I'm sure some people are listening to this video and thinking, oh, it's a workshop building DLC. I don't think that's really the case. It might be used for rides and, you know, certain raider settlements. If we take those over, that just makes sense. This is not a workshop DLC. Third, we'll have some workshop building options based on the theme parks and the raider factions. This kind of ties into my second point. Maybe we can build some rides as well. It's pretty much just a repeat of what I just said. Number four, we'll have three raider gangs in the DLC, most certainly, most probably called the Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And we don't know much more beyond that. We just have these names and we can speculate further on that. And then number five, perhaps we can choose a gang to lead and then fight the other ones. So that kind of makes sense. I think Shadow Shade shared this in his post. It kind of makes sense that maybe we take over some settlements and then all of a sudden, you know, those other raider gangs, if we choose one, they come back and take it over and we have to fight back and forth. I think that'd be an interesting mechanic i hope that bethesda approaches it in a better way than what they did with the settlements being attacked in the original game that would really be annoying if it was just the same thing so i hope they do a better job on that if that is indeed a feature in the dlc so i'd like to hear from you all in the comment section below after hearing all of this new information what is your speculation on all of it what do you think we can do with the gangs do you think that's the name of the gangs what about the new locations all this workshop stuff share all of what you're feeling in the comment section below all right guys today i shared leaked nuka world info on raider gangs locations and settlement building once again big thanks to shadow shade for finding and sharing this info on the subreddit next time we will cover more fallout on my channel so stay tuned for fallout 4 tips and tricks videos if you learned something new or enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Nuka World coverage, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.